Tommy, a busy one this week, obviously. First training session back today. How are the lads? Yeah, we've seen bright and breezy. Considering the week we've had, it's been it's been tough on them. Uh, I mean, people who come to watch us play uh, up in Rochdale last weekend will understand there was a, an arduous trek. And for us on the Friday, it was particularly bad. Um, the M6 was shut and it took us almost eight hours to get there. Um, but that said, you know, that, that's no excuse for the result up there. But, I, you know, I thought we played half the game really well and controlled it for most parts. And I felt we should have gone in, you know, one to the good, to be honest with you. But it was an agonising goal we conceded up there. But in fairness to Rochdale, I thought they were better in the second half. And, and once we, we fended off most of what they threw at us, they, they managed to get the winning goal. So it, it was a disappointing journey back, as you can imagine. But this group always showed me really good resilience in the way that they bounce. Um, and there was some really good words spoken before the game, not by me, I have to say. Um, and that bloke will not be speaking again. And it's not <laughs> one in the staff, it's one of the players. You know who we're talking about here. Um, but it was quite a Churchillian speech. And then to go, in, uh, go out and, and go 2 0 down in three minutes was, in hindsight, very ironic. Um, but in fairness to that lad and, and to, the, to the group in general, the way they regrouped themselves mm -hmm. on the pitch, because it's very difficult at that, that stage of the game to affect it as much as you want to from the side of the pitch because you can get emotionally involved and get irate and I thought the staff and the players were very very cool calm and objective at, at half time and the words put across by myself and by the staff all the staff was absolutely crucial to the the way we turned the game around. Well we said uh, mentioned the character of the group a lot that so far this season obviously you've had the, the Halifax game and the Maidenhead game two comebacks there that are big standouts and now Bromley as well so you've got to be proud of them for having that in their locker to be able to do that when they're facing defeat Yeah I mean not only have we come back from two we've, we've come back from one as well you know and, that, and that's as important as we, we know there's, a, there's always a term when people say you never know when you're beat and I like to think that's something that our, t our group has, has got embedded in them um, like, like I mentioned in my programme notes this week you know we went we did the same thing to Swindon um, a month ago and scored two goals in the first three minutes and everybody knows what happened after that now that could easily have happened probably on Tuesday night had their, their tails up and they were showing us exactly why they are where they are let's make no mistake it was it was down to the people on the pitch ultimately to turn it round and, and make that second half hear what we're in the job to do which is affect players and for us to experience at the end of the game that Simple joy from the you know the, the travelling shots, both those that went up to to Rochdale and also came to Bromley. I'm pleased that we we rounded it off with that that 45 minutes as opposed to the 45 minutes at, at Rochdale. But looking ahead to Saturday, it's it's Halifax Town, obviously a team that is again around us. So it's it's the end of a very very challenging week, isn't it? It is. I mean, I think if you look at the look at the table, it's it's very very close in in and around the area we're in. Um, We've always tried to keep looking not up the way. I think that's the thing that you have to do. Um, but we're very well aware that you know there's teams in and around us now who will be tracking us and you know wanting to wanting to hunt us down. And, and Halifax are no different. But we're, you know we're we're we have no aspirations of anything. All we looked at is the next game. And when we were disappointed on Saturday, we all were coming back on the bus. We had to get ourselves in a mental state to go and improve the situation on Tuesday, and we did that. Now we're not going to rest on laurels and. If we think it was good yesterday, it's no good tomorrow. So, you know, the preparation will be exactly the same as what we would give for every opposition we've had so far this season. We, we'll try and pick on a couple of things we feel we can exploit and we work on things we know we need to get better at. Um, and we'll enjoy the journey as we go. Hey, the, the fact that these teams around the playoff places are, are where we are, it's a testament to the start we've had to this season, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we're approaching the halfway mark now, so you don't, you don't fall there by... You don't fall to the top end of the table by accident. So, you know, same as you don't fall to the bottom by accident. There is, there's reasons you are where you are. We know where we're deficient you are. Or we know where we can improve. And we know where we've got to keep improving. So it's a work in progress. You know, it's, it's a world away from the group that I inherited. Um, and, and the performances are different. So we're enjoying them. But we don't get carried away. You know, we, you'll see me every week at home, particularly clapping all four sides of the ground because we appreciate the support we get and the, the, the people who come and travel away from uh, from the EBB to support us all over the country we are even more pr appreciative because we understand the, the journeys but we try to give you as much as we can away from home as we do at home trust me.